this morning. According to a new study by the American Lung Association, cleaner air associated with electric cars could reduce health care costs and save millions of lives of Americans in the years ahead. But those benefits do come with some trade-offs. Tony has more in today's Behind the Wheel. One of the first things you notice from behind the wheel of an electric car is the quiet. They're essentially silent below 20 miles an hour. Depending on how you look at it, that's either good news or bad news. Some studies link a quieter interior with a decrease in road rage and increased cognitive ability. But for those who are raised on the rumble of a V8 engine, the whisper of an EV can be a bit of a letdown. If it doesn't make any sound, then it doesn't really feel like driving. And when they step on the accelerator, they expect to hear the feedback of the engine. And with an electric motor, you don't have that noise. The lack of noise outside of an EV is likewise bittersweet. While that's good for the environment as far as noise pollution, while that's good for the, the efficiency of the engine, you're taking away the driver experience. And you're also taking away one of the key safety elements for pedestrians and cyclists who rely on engine noise to locate the cars around them. For that reason, all EVs in America are required to have an acoustic vehicle alerting system. That generates sounds at speeds below 12 miles an hour. Those sounds can vary. There is no universal sound. Different manufacturers get to choose the sound that the vehicle makes. Automakers are using that opportunity to set their cars apart from the competition, giving consumers more choices. So they'll get in car A and it makes a chirp or a chime and they'll get in another car and it's a little more aggressive or a different sound or it's synthesized. If taken to the extreme, all of those options could create more problems than they solve. Imagine a day when drivers could download engine sounds like ringtones. If the overall idea is to reduce noise pollution and keep things that are a little more harmonious in heavy traffic, do you want a hundred different sounds that people can pick and choose? Probably not. Tony Martinez, Fox 12, Oregon. I wanted that Flintstone. <laughs> I was just going to say oh the feet, the little feet going. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Well, so like with BMW, you know, that, that interior sound, I mean, they had like Hans Zimmer, who's like composer of soundtracks of dozens of movies. He composed their interior sounds, wow. composed them. Wow. Uh, so they're kind of you know, using it as a marketing yeah, uh, sure. device, but a lot of automakers are doing that. Uh, so that's the interior sounds. The exterior ones, so that's the one that any car has to have under 12 miles an hour, uh, just to alert the people around them. It's like a safety thing. So, okay. Yeah. Really yeah. neat. And, and it's that. almost, I think there was a story a while back where somebody was backing their car up and they almost hit their dog because it didn't make a noise. Right. So it makes a noise to kind of alert yeah, sure. them a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I mean, it's a whole new world. Really. Which you didn't really think about before, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah. Good yeah. piece, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> They're right everywhere. Is the car still running? I don't know. Is it still running? I don't know. Right. That's you, a, yeah. That, well, I can see that being a problem. We were talking, and we we're going too long, but yeah. when you get in an electric car, sometimes you just put it in drive and off you go. So they have a you sound know, like a that or... lets you know that the car is you know, engaged and ready to take off because there's no boom starting yeah. it up kind of thing. Or in my case, eh, 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 you, know, you get in, you hit the gas. Right. Well, don't do that. Wow. Thanks, Tony. All right.